Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam here from Bungalow Fields, and I have to apologize to you guys that we don't have any uh, Modern for 3 content out. Uh, that's because we've been having a lot of technical difficulties and stuff like that, so I'm really glad that we c I can get this video out right now. So um, I r thought I'd just give you my impression of Modern for 3. So a lot of people make the joke that Modern for 3 is basically just Modern for 2.5, and that is true. Uh, it feels like Modern for 2, it kind of looks the same, well, it does look the same as Modern for 2, and that's kind of... You know, because it, it was made by the same people and stuff like that. However, I think they did a really good job with the game. Like, you know, there's no... The noob tubes aren't overpowered. I mean, they... they I, Honestly, my first game was Black Ops. And I thought it was a pretty good game. And then everybody uh, encouraged me to switch to Modern Warfare 2 for a bit. And I started playing it, and I absolutely hated it. I mean, like, you know, I bet a lot of people are, are mad about the noob tubes and stuff like that. I mean, obviously... I don't want to get a noob tube shoved up my weighing hole and it ends in my kill streak, especially if it's like a 24 kill streak. You know, you're one away from your nuke, and it's just like, oh hey, you know what? Here we go, shooting the last person, and boom, noob tube in your face. God, it's as if you're standing on top of a chair, trying to reach that last cookie in the cookie jar that's on top of the refrigerator, and you're about to reach it, and nope, oh, someone just pulls the chair right out from under you, and it's just like, oh, you fall to the ground like a bouse. Another thing that I admired was that. The fact that Robert Bowling said that he was going to make like small maps and that it was going to be fast paced and I bet a bunch of people know that Modern Warfare 3 is obviously really fast and it's like, you know, you got to think quickly or else, you know, boop, you're out of the game, you know? It's just like, they really made the maps really small, so you're always fighting a gunfight somewhere. They made it so that it's not really high, it's only like one level, like I know the map interchange, it's only one level throughout the whole map and that's because they don't want any campers and buildings like sniping everybody like Grizz. Ah, just kidding, no, Grizz doesn't camp. Okay, awkward. Oh, I also like how they made three sections of kill streaks. They had the assault package, the support package, and the specialist package. This is nice because like, I like it, but a lot of people think think uh monitor for three is just getting really complicated now with all like oh my god look there's three sections now what am i supposed to do um, oh my god but um i like it because like they make it easier for people to play and i know like you shouldn't be rewarding the noobs because uh, they suck but like i just like how i don't really have to worry about you know they they how do i say this um they took out the stress in the game of a kill streak. Because I know that whether I die or not, if I get 18 kills, I'm going to get my EMP or my Juggernaut or my Escort Airdrop. I also feel like they balance the air support really well. I mean, like, attack helicopters go to work, but they're actually kind of easy to scrap uh, if you have the right, you know, launcher. Same with payloads. And I like how they made it really hard to get, like, an Osprey Gunner. I mean, that's an 18 kill streak. I remember in Modern Warfare 2, it was only 11. And so it was uh, in Black Ops, uh, 9 for a Chopper Gunner, 11 with a gunship. But now, it's like, now those people who are really skilled can actually get 18 kills in a row with either their gun or their other kill streaks. Uh, they can actually, they deserve that chopper gun. The guns, uh, they're, once again, pretty ba balanced. Uh, all the submachine guns are really good. Like, I know some of my friends kind of complain about them. But it's like, oh, the P90 is overpowered. Oh, well, so is the UMP. Well, so is the MP7, or what is it called? Uh, the Yeah, the MP7. Um, if they're all overpowered, then technically, are they really overpowered? It's kind of like saying, hey, if everything is wet, is everything really wet? You know, that was, that was actually kind of a stupid analogy. Just scratch that from your mind. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to, like, take that out. I would take that out normally. But, uh, okay, this is stupid now. Anyways, what I was saying was that, um, yeah, they balance the guns really well. I like the attachments they have, um, like, the ACOG attachment on guns, it's, like, really good for some reason. Like, I feel like it's, like, another kind of, like, red dot and hybrid, uh, not hybrid, uh, reflex sight. It's, like, really good. Like, I remember in Black Ops, the ACOG scopes were, like, really, dude? Like, they, they kind of sucked. Well, they, they did suck, as a matter of fact. But in Modern Warfare 3, it, I don't know, I just really like it, especially on a gun that doesn't have, like, a lot of recoil. Like, I can use it on the G36, whatever it's called. I don't even know the guns that well. Um, but, yeah, my favorite guns so far have to be the Scar L, P90, and MK14. I really like the MK14. I don't know why. The only gun that I actually have to complain about is the Type 95. I mean, yeah, a three-round burst weapon is supposed to be powerful, but I'm not expecting to get triples with it. It shouldn't take, like, one bullet to kill somebody. 
and it's really nice because I've noticed that they actually patched it. Like, it takes about maybe two bursts to kill somebody now. Before, once again, it only took once, which was really annoying. You know, it was kind of a, like, it doesn't take much skill, once again, to aim down a hallway and use the Type 95 and just getting quads up at the wazoo and stuff like that. Uh, speaking of uh, patches for his stuff, I believe that uh, Infinity Ward has been supporting their game really well. Like, they've come out like with three patches already. Like, that's pretty freaking awesome because I know in Modern Warfare 2 they didn't really support the game really well but I kind of it kind of leaves me wondering like is this just gonna be like for three months they're gonna do this and then boom they're just dead like you know like oh screw it they we've been doing it for three months they're fine now let them just duke it out for the next nine months until Black Ops 2 comes out I, I can't wait for that I hope JD 2020 is rehired by Triarch so it can make quick scoping dead again and be like, oh, sorry guys, guess what? Chopper Gunners are dead too. You only get six to fight with now, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. This idea is copyrighted by Bungalow Fields. Okay? I already told you, I already told my friends about this idea. But once the Call of Duty franchise goes out, this is probably going to be in like 20, I don't know, 56. When they come out with Modern Warfare 27, people are going to like, ah, screw guns, we hate guns. How about this? Ancient Warfare. How you feeling? Like, can you just imagine this? You'd be fighting people with, like, sticks and arrows. Like, you could be cavemen, and instead of, like, losing, instead of playing domination, it's just like, we're losing our cave! But th th the thing is, they don't talk. It's not cave A, it's not cave B. They're like, ooga ooga, A! Ooga ooga, bravo! You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of stealth bombers, they could do, they could be like pterodactyls, like, bringing in, like, eggs like bombing on the people okay this is the best idea ever guys and you know what the campaign best campaign ever you go out as a caveman you find some sticks you rub them together make fire boom roll the credits best idea ever this is almost as good as my center button idea this is great this is gonna take off but what kind of sucks is that the fact that i paid for a hard the hardened edition and like I got Call of Duty Elite with it, and I don't really use it. I, I, I don't benefit from it. I It's nice to know that, hey, you know what, my my friend has a class named Jews. Thanks for sharing Call of Duty Elite, you know? Like, I know I can see my friend's classes and stuff like that. I guess that's okay if I want to know what gun they're using and stuff like that. But, like, I don't get it. I mean, for example, I know that the Xbox gets the map packs one month earlier than that. That's... I don't like that. I I really don't like that. They should just make it so that like I don't know if people who people who have Call of Duty Elite if they have it they should be able to get it at the same time no matter what system it's on. It's unfair just because I know the Xbox is the Xbox is better, but it I don't like that honestly. That's like the only thing that I would change in Modern Warfare 3. That's the only thing, and maybe a couple of other things that I might mention later. I mean, I'm like sitting here right now just trying to think of things that are wrong with Modern Warfare 3 because I got to talk for like 11 minutes, I think, or something like that for this gameplay. And I I'm struggling really hard because I can't really think of anything. I mean, like, I mean, right now there's, there's no, like, I'm maintaining about barely a positive KD right now. I am literally 40 deaths away from going um, negative. I am thinking once the Christmas noobs come, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I, my cage is just going to skyrocket because right now there are so many, like, the hype for Modern Warfare 3 made it so that there would be so many tryhards. Like, there are, like, I get into a lobby, I see a prestige, like, I, I see a prestige emblem that I've never seen. I immediately get out of the lobby because I already know he's, like, higher than me and he's, like, a pro at this game, you know? I don't want to, I don't want to ruin my KD anymore. Once again, I'm only 40 kills away from going negative. Blech. Did I say kills? <laughs> I meant deaths. My bad. I say that there's only one or two things wrong with this uh, game, and I obviously know that you guys know a lot more. I mean, I complain about the game, and I just can't recall anything. I mean, I honestly think I just can't figure out what's wrong right now just because I'm in the you know honeymoon stage I think that this game is perfect you know it's the best Call of Duty ever you know I mean like I, I was I'm kind of expecting it to be really good I mean like because you know Modern Warfare 2 you know Noob 2's explosions were overpowered Black Ops they wanted to make it underpowered so they got you know they made it slow pace and that was their mistake they thought that you know eliminating stopping power would make it better like they would tone it down almost and they toned it down too much 
So I'm glad that in Modern Warfare 3, the guns have a high damage rate. Like, they, like once again, it's as if they all had stopping power, but you don't need the perk, basically. It's really nice. And that really plays into, like, once again, the fast pace of uh, Modern Warfare 3, which I really like. I mean, like, B Black Ops was so slow that I could get a mob in Black Ops. Like, I got a tw my highest kill streak in like Black Ops is twenty five kills, and that's with my gun. So if I could just take that and go into Modern Warfare Three, maybe I can get a mob sometime. Maybe I'll upload that gameplay for you guys if I ever get one. Kind of doubt it though. Oh, I know the theater. Theater sucks in Modern Warfare Three. You can't watch it in parties. You can't view other people's recent games. I mean. That's so dumb. Like you can't even watch from other people's view. It's only your from your point of view. They have to fix that. The theater mode in Black Ops was really good. I have to say, like, it was just really good. So if Modern Warfare Three was a person, this is what I would say to them: Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. <laughs> Alright, so uh, thanks for listening guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, I hope that we can make some more content for you guys and not let you guys down, uh, we have a lot to, we have a lot in store for you, I hope you're, I hope you're gonna like it, so uh, thank you for watching, please drop a comment, uh, if you liked it, please rate, favorite, and subscribe to us, alright, thanks guys, peace out.